Charles and our new travel trailer were finally home in Dallas, and we were eager to get it ready for its next trip to our off-grid property in Vermont. And now it's time to start doing the install for the solar system. And I think I'm about ready to start mounting stuff. So we've got a battery monitor. The plan for this wall is to put our battery monitor right up here so it's easy to read and it's fairly close to the battery system. So I have to drill a hole in this wall and then try to snake down that direction to the back so I can catch, a, catch wires down there. Here's where our batteries go. Got two lithium ion batteries. I'll be mounting, I've got circuit breakers here and uh, bus bars that all have to get mounted down in this hole. And then from there, we'll have wires that come back behind here and back into here. And they'll go down through the floor. And our inverter and charge controller will be mounted down where the uh, generator would normally be mounted. There's a box on the bottom of the trailer. And then of course we gotta put panels on the roof. Let's see if I can find it. We got it strung down through here and it's going to go through a hole right there and down into that compartment. Then I'm going to get the uh, cutout done here to run my wires through. Bus bars. And positive will go right here, and the negative is going to go down below. Pre drill a hole here. And I'll show you what I did here. Just mounting that to the wall. And then the battery cables will come out. That hole and connect there. The uh, negatives will attach to one side of the shunt and both of them will attach there and then that will have a cable going from the output of the shunt to the negative bus bar. All right, before I mount this, the black one, the black bus bar, I'm going to install this, which is uh, going to be an external uh, plug-in, so I can plug three additional uh, solar panels, just lay them out on the ground, and this will be a convenient place to plug them in. And to do that, I'm just going to drill a hole right down here to the outside to mount this thing on, and the wires will come up, and it'll just go directly to the bus bars. And I'll show you that when I'm done. So there's that. This is the uh, auxiliary input. And it's just a convenience outlet to add more panels out to the side. Coming up through the floor, I'll take you out and show you where that is outside. Right there. And just open that up, plug in your panels with a charge controller. All right. So my next step is to take these circuit breakers and 
and get them mounted down in here somewhere. And I'll show you where I end up putting them. And at the end of all this, I will actually show you the wiring diagram I'm working from. I've made my own. I'm not completely done with mounting everything, but I just wanted to give a little update here. Um, got the shunt mounted. I may have showed you that before. Got the one battery hooked up to the one side. The other battery will also be hooked up here. Um, got a cable being made for going from this side to the uh, negative bus bar. And then I've got the positive bus bar here where we'll have this battery and the other battery coming here. This is going out to the, through a 30 amp circuit breaker out to the auxiliary ones that I showed you earlier where the plug is in the bottom. And then I've got some of the uh, power wires, the power wire for the shunt, and then the power wire for the Serbo GX, which is the communication module that will collect all the communication from everything, the all the Victron equipment, and then put it out via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So I'll be able to, as long as I've got that hooked up to Wi-Fi, I can look at everything to do with the solar system from anywhere in the world. I'm kind of switching gears from doing the inside work to doing outside work while I wait on a few parts. So where I'm putting the inverter and the charge controller is in that box right there where the they would normally mount a generator and I've got to be able to put a, a bottom and a back on it and a stronger front it's kind of what I've done here I just cut out a piece of thin sheet material and then I'm putting a wooden backer on it just to stiffen it up a little bit because this is going to be hanging vertically and I need it to be stiff so when it's going down the road it's it's not bouncing all around. So anyway, I'm in the process now of, this is gonna be the front panel of that box. And I'm getting ready to figure out how to mount this inverter on the front panel. But this is a bracket that comes off. And I've gotta mount this bracket to the front cover in such a position where I can take this lip and mount it down over this bracket. And it slides over and it locks in place by putting screws in here in the bottom. So I'm just kind of in the process of figuring out where this bracket needs to go and then I'll mount it. And then we'll uh, slide that on, figure out where the locking uh, mechanisms need to be here and get that all put together and then I'll take it back off and just leave this by itself with the bracket on it and then I'll mount that in the trailer and I'll take you along for the ride. So now I've got my bracket, my hanging bracket, marked with a Sharpie on all my corners and my uh, fastener locations. And now we're gonna test, that, test fit the inverter on the bracket. Pretty good. Now we'll mark the bottom holes. I got this rib nut kit to make these cover plates. These are the covers I made for put, doing the box down below I showed a while ago. Um, I was putting the rib nuts in, everything was going great. Got to this one and the installation tool broke and the rivet is spinning in the hole. So now I've got to drill that out. And the cheap little installation tools that come with the rivets, rivet nuts, is junk. 
So I've ordered a, an actual rivet, rib nut tool that will pull them in without having to turn these things. So that'll be here tomorrow, another delay. So I'm switching speeds again here and gonna go back to wiring inside the Bigfoot. I've got the grommet in the floor down here and I'm in the process of running our heavy cables to go from the inverter up here to the batteries. Okay. Down through the hole where I put the barometer in. And they route around and these will get terminated up here at the bus bars. See right there on the battery side, both batteries are terminated. And then the other side has a 2 out cable going from the output of the shunt and coming around and terminating on that rail right there. That's the negative rail. And then the two positives are both terminated right here on the positive rail. A couple of circuit breakers yet to do. And this little jumper is where I'll terminate the inverter wire. I've got... Uh, a little more wiring finished. We got most of the DC and DC wiring done. This is the uh, PV wire coming down from the roof. And it's also going out. Pretty much everything to do with the PV is just going through that one hole out to the bottom. Just wanted to give a little update here. Working on wiring and equipment underneath. Still kind of a mess. I wanted to kind of show what I'm doing here. All my DC wires are coming out of this hole here and in the side there. The AC is going in conduit and there'll be another one in that hole above it that'll go up in there for the shore power to come down to the inverter. And inside We've got the inverter mounted and the charge controller mounted. And here's one more check in. Got pretty much everything wires run except for I still haven't got the comm wire for the charge controller. But everything is terminated. Getting close to done with wiring. We're having a little difficulty figuring out the best way to mount these modules on the rooftop. So I'm going to lay them out on the ground just so I can prove the system works and we'll worry about putting them on the roof at a later date. Wires managed, cleaned up, secured. Going in there into the boxes and into the uh, 
cabin. We've got it all siliconed. We've got the case put together. It's got little vents under each piece of equipment where the airflow needs to go. And then at the top, we got two vents up there. So it goes from the bottom and out the top. Well, I think that completes under the trailer. Here's the charge controller. It says it's in bulk, which means it should be charging. I turned the batteries on the inside on. Inverter says on. Looks like it's working. And let's go see inside. Batteries both say 13.4. Everything seems to be working. DC works. AC works. Microwave is on. No smoke, no fire.